Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Now, most of your home ISP routers absolutely suck, and this is why you need to replace it with something like this. This is the NetDuma R3. If you're in the UK, this costs £179. It's on offer at the moment. It's normally £200-odd, pound, and it's a pretty decent uh, router if you are a gamer. So this is exactly what you're going to get inside the box. It's got some instructions on the inside of the lid here to make it easy for you to set it up. It is really easy to set up here. So you've got your four antennas, you've got your Ethernet cable, you've got your welcome card here with some information on it, your power adapter and the actual router itself. The processor in here is the ARM 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor with memory of 256 gigabytes of DDR3 and 256 gigabytes of flash memory. Also, you're going to have these antennas here, which sport Wi-Fi 6, which is 802.11ax dual band gigabit Wi-Fi. Also, the Wi-Fi performance is AX3000 Wi-Fi. Also, this is a dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and also 5 gigahertz supported. So there we have the actual unit itself. It's got that RGB on the top here that can be turned off if you're not an RGB person. If you do want it on, you can change it to whatever color you like and have a bunch of different themes there. Got some LED lights on the front, some ventilation on the sides here. On the back, this is where all of the ports are. We have our power button. We also have our power input, a USB 3.0 port, and we have five Ethernet ports. The blue one is your WAN port, and the other ones are Gigabit Ethernet ports, which means you can plug in different devices into it. So also we do have there a 12 volt 1.5 amp power supply input there. On the bottom we have plenty of ventilation here, anti-slip rubber feet and there's also a mounting uh, area here so you can mount it to a, a cabinet or a wall if you wanted to. Attaching the antennas is pretty straightforward. You just uh, screw them onto this area right here. I do have a tripod in front of me which is making it a little bit more difficult but it is straightforward. You just uh, screw them on and there's four of them to screw down. And once you've got these nice and tight, you can then direct them in the direction of which way you want the antenna to sit. Now, from your old ISP modem router, you can plug it straight into the actual blue uh, connector on the back, which is your WAN connector. And then basically the other four ones, the yellow ones, will go straight to your PC. Now, looking at the NetDuma website here, it does give you some information here. The launch discount for this is £179.99 normally £224.99, which is a really good price for a router of this calibre. You've got good quality features on here called GeoFilter 2.0. This is going to utilise their latest technology for geo latency. And also we have some other features like SmartBoost will automatically adjust your network in real time to give you the favourite applications the speed they need. And Steady Ping, it uses the anti-jitter technology to lock your ping for your gaming connections, curbing lag spikes and making every game as good as the last. So setting it up is really simple and easy to do. You can plug an Ethernet cable straight from your ISP's router modem uh, into the blue WAN port and you can put it into modem mode if they do have one of those modes on your ISP router and then you can plug in any of the Ethernet cable devices into the yellow Ethernet ports on the back of the NetDormer are uh, free it's that simple you can even set it up on your mobile phone or you can set it up on your desktop like i'm doing right here it's going to ask you to set up your username and you can give it a password and you can then go in here and change the uh, ssid if you want to and all that other stuff you just set this up go through the motions here and click next it will then go off and try to set up your router for you once this is done you should be pretty much good to go now you can test your internet speed here so go ahead and test your internet speed and then what the NetDorma r3 will do is it will try to uh, tweak the router to the best settings for your speed it's going to alleviate a lot of the lag spikes and give you a better fps and also uh, alleviate a lot of that uh, high latency that you might be having and you'll see it doing this on the screen once it's got a stock upload speed and download speed of your network what you can do is apply the settings and you'll see it will ask you to choose uh, your priority. So if you're a gamer, you can choose gaming priority, video streaming is second, and also work from home is third. You can choose some other ones if you want to. I'm going to leave these as is, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue and this will then go off and start to uh, fix our router for us for the best settings. Now you can drag these in order that you want by just holding on to them like this and dragging them into the locations that are suiting your needs. I'm going to set this up as a gamer uh, type of router. So let's go ahead and push continue here. And now what it's going to do is optimize your ping using the built-in tool called Ping Optimizer. This lets you reduce the lag and reduce uh, latency here. So let me go ahead and quickly run this test here. It's going to give you the old ping here on the left, and it will give you the new ping on the right. And you can see it's analyzing uh, your network, and it's basically going to analyze this and try to make it better for you. When you're playing games, you should get a lower uh, ping here. So let's go ahead and see whether this router can actually make our ping better. So I'm going to let it do its thing. It's already lowered it there. You can see it's lower than the graph above and it's already dropped to 22.2 from 33.7. So that's not too bad. And we're going to let it do again. It's trying to lower it even further if it can. And there we go. We're down to 20.5, which is really, really good. And you can see it's just going to continue to do its best to make that best for you when you're playing games. So there we go. I think it's now finished and it's give us an average of these three and it will pick the best one for you. So I'm going to optimize now and let it set those settings in our router for us. And there we go. Now we can tweak our RGB. If you're not an RGB fan, you can turn it completely off. But if you do like RGB, you can set it up to rainbow effect or you can set it up to ripple or any other type of color that you like. You can have it going through all of the different lighting effects and you can go to animation and you can have it going through all of these right here if you want it as a static color you can do and you can go back here and choose your color i'm going to choose blue here and it will leave it as that blue color once you've got all your settings set up the way you want them you can then log on to the actual dashboard itself and the dashboard looks absolutely amazing as you can see here we've got our wi-fi up on the top right we've got our rgb control panel on the bottom right and also we have our gaming activity our work activity and our video activity right up the top there. And you can set yours up how you like your dashboard, but you've got your today's uses. So this is your basically your network activity right there, bang smack in the middle, your network speed on the bottom left and your ping optimizer down on the bottom right. And again, we do have, so let's go ahead and set some of these uh, features up. So geo filter is right here. We can give this a device to look at. So I'm going to add a device. All you need to do is either take the tour if you're not sure what you're doing, or you can click on add device and add the device that you want to add. Let's go ahead and add in a PC to this list. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click next. And right here we can see we do have some games we can choose. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some games. Now, if you play a lot of games, you can choose all of the games that you play in that list. So there's some common ones here like Valorant and also Fortnite and a bunch of other ones on there as well. You can see a big long list. These are all the most popular games that people play online. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my game here. Let's choose Fortnite here and click finish. You can add more if you want to, but let's just do one for now. And once that's done, you can click on the top left here for the ping heat map here and then go ahead and choose your game up the top left. Let's go ahead and choose Fortnite here and it will tell us the best pings and best servers to play on. You can see 22 milliseconds and also 25 milliseconds. These are pretty low pings and they're really good green servers. So they're the ones you want to play on if you can possibly get on those rather than playing on the ones that are really sort of in different countries that are going to give you high milliseconds, which is obviously going to cause rubber banding and a bunch of other issues for you. So there we have uh, the actual boost here. This is your smart boost here. Not going to go through all of these but it's got a lot of features on here and you can go through all of this and do some testing yourself but it does work and it is a pretty decent uh, router uh, to have if you've got an old isp router that they've given you this is going to be far superior to that and obviously better wi-fi connectivity around your home anyway but that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.